Wow, that's a long, long bamboo. Snuck up on me. What is that? Can, can oh. we take a zoom at this, please? This weirdy here. Sorry, I do, I do see the thing, but I gotta, I gotta mosey. I'm oh. way off on the side of the world. I gotta be down here. <laughs> <laughs> if you want it, we can go back. No, we're okay. <laughs> that was something different. Maybe we'll see another one. We can go back. Well, maybe. Let's go back. Okay, let's go back. Now, where were you? They're right around the corner. I think it's tucked into that little. No, there it is. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. Arr, what are you? You are either a mutant polyopagon. Can you come down to something. Delta a little bit, please. I need some little extra scope for this one. Okay, go ahead and zoom there. I have more zoom as well. Let me know what you want. Yes, please. If wow, you that's. I don't, have we seen that before? <sighs> see, this is similar to the one we collected. You see how cotton cannony? These are the dead parts of it. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that does not look like the polyopagon or the dead one. No. Oh, it's like cobwebby. Looks like it's going to be a treat to sample. I think it's going to do the same thing that the other one did because I think there's right. a good chance it is the same thing. Okay, it's just a white please. variety. If we're going to sample, let's move the ship. So decide uh, now, I think. No, let's skip it. Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah or, or south, whatever you want. You, did you say skip it? Yeah, skip, skip it, it because I, we may have some of that already. Just a slightly different color morph or something. I oh, love these little canyons. I mean, Pretty this, cool this little canyon more like, if you yeah. want to check it. Yeah, this is a nice spot. This is a great little zone. This is so we're kind of on the plateau now. I'm looking at Argus sonar. It stretches out pretty. Oh right, yeah. Pretty far, and it's still got all this stuff. Yeah, because there's enough of these bouldery things coming up that wouldn't show yeah. in the multi beam bathymetry. Mm -hmm. Do you want to explore in here? Keep going. What's your, what's your call? Um, do you want to? Steve's asking about Niskins. Do you want to pull a Niskin here uh, in this environment? Well, that's true. I keep forgetting about those. Um, well, now we're sort of in a little bit of a blank zone. How about the next time we see a good stand, we'll, we'll go ahead and pull one. Next zone. Look at that big sponge coming up. Oh, There's yeah. There's a bunch of stuff coming up. Oh, look at this up. upper right hand corner. Jeez, oh, that's, that's huge. huge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's polyopagon gigantia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to merge to. I think it's like a triple polyopagon. Wow, you'll triple, see it. Triple opagon. You'll triple see it in a moment if you're just watching the regular. What is that? Can we oh. look at this, please? Ooh. Holy guacamole. How this many right different closer? sponges are we going to yeah. get here? <laughs> <laughs> this could be a collectible. I'm Roger, afraid. Roger, we're set up well for that. We are or we aren't? We are. Uh, I, I want it. Oh. I, this is something. I think this could be could in be a family that we haven't recorded in Hawaii before. This could be. Um, Do we want to get some good images on it first? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. I'm wondering though that this could be something called uh, Heterocone or something, which is more West Coasty. This could also be what we call. Well, let's let's get some images. This also could be Corbitelliny um, new genus. Yeah, maybe we ought to, I, I might have gotten prematurely excited. Let's let's take a zoom on it first. Yeah. I'm going to try and put my bumper right on the little rock there. Get nice and cozy with it. Regardless, it's something we haven't seen, so it's good to document this anyway at the site. Yeah. Steve says almost looks like heterochrone. Yeah, heterocony, that's what I was saying. But I think it's something that we call Corbitelliny new genus. I'm gonna Ooh. actually I'm gonna check in the guide real quick while we're um, 
That's a very precarious perch. Let's see how okay. it stays. I'm almost there. One second more. Where are you guys? That's not gonna stay. Um, I'm I'm thinking I want to pass on this. <gasps> I, yeah. Well, let's get some imagery while we're here. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get some imagery for sure. Start with some lasers on it. I wonder if there's right. anything living in there. Probably. It seems like a good. Okay, nice zoom in, habitat. please. We'll get the full full thing first. And at your leisure, go in wherever. Oh Beautiful Argus view too. Don't anyone miss that? Yeah, look at that in Argus. Wow. That's incredible. Uh, yeah, it's a, you see those strands that you can see on the wall? Uh -huh. um, that means it's a soft sponge because you're seeing isolated spicules in there. So that would probably put it in the euplectellid in the sub -gene, or subfamily Corbitellini. And I'm trying to see my okay. examples of that. Come wide, please. So we're not going to sample this one? We're going to pass? Give me one. I think I found them. OK. Um, yes, we got this one. So thank you. We'll skip on okay. this one. Full but wide, this please. is a good documentation of this guy. Can you show the magnum, please? Oh, is it uh, like that? Like a cor yeah, corbitellin? Yep. Yeah, if you scroll through a bunch of those, that's what... Oh, okay, I just yeah. used wrist left and down. Oh, what's happened there? They've got some weird action going on. I, uh -oh. These other shifts, I tell you what. Wow, <laughs> cool. Can you do uh, elbow up, please? We have that big sponge up on the little top of this knoll. And then wrist all the way down. Okay. That's a very cool... Don't go Genus too fast now. Sponges. Mm -hmm. Don't go too ahead. fast now. <laughs> wow, the forms of these things are incredible. You might need to do another time. elbow. If you're in the animal yeah. guy, I checked out the Euplectelidae other. Some very yeah. unique looking sponges so. in here. The elbow is spicy. Yeah. So There's not. Pretty cool. No. Come on, um, Steve was wondering how many Niskins we have left. Have we fired. We didn't fire any yet on our sh watch. Yeah, the others. It's, it's all, all open. All of uh, Nobody fired one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we got six Niskins available. Yeah. yeah, and I don't think Meredith is interested in sponge groupings. Is she? She's more coral, isn't she? If I remember right. So as soon as you run out of wrist down, so it won't go anymore. Mm -hmm. Then you wrist left all the way and it won't right, go anymore. Just look at that. You can yeah, finish it with like elbow down. 12, 13 left. different species yeah. right there. Uh, oh, look at a sea star chewing yes. down on that. Oh, that's a huge uh, bamboo oh, coral. Left there, yeah. Oops. Thank oh. you. It's really spicy. Some weird stuff here. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is incredible. Yeah, we're coming up to that big boy sponge here. Man. <laughs> so diverse. It actually looks like one of those white paragorgia, too, that was off to the left. Mm. Aaron, if Trevor's okay with it, can you do a, ha a zoom on Argus? Yeah. You can see through the sponge. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's neat. It's oh. pretty cool. It's incredible. Yeah. Oh, a nice shot. Oh, wow. Uh, that Argus beautiful. view is phenomenal. Yeah, that Argus view is surreal. <laughs> All right, I should probably go to the correct sponge, though. Look at the size of this thing. This is prompting a holy guacamole. Ah, uh, it's definitely a double guacamole. So cool. Wow. All right, mm. I'm going to get that out of That's such a great shot. <laughs> All right, I'm going to mess some stuff up here, so <laughs> be prepared for that. Okay. Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh. Can we do it? No, I don't think we can. That looks mm. cool. I'm oh, maybe. Oh, very cool. Oh, I get it. Lasers are off. <laughs> you can see as Argus is heaving, light comes <laughs> and goes. <laughs> so cool.
Can I get bubble on front porch, please? Oh, Fun wow. Drama mm. of it. That really is something else, isn't it? That's that a, is. That's a whopper. <laughs> you gotta, it's going to take two hands to handle that whopper. I'll say. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I'm gonna turn Too lights on now. In this case. Two, yeah. Woo! Daylight. There's all the lights again, oh, all at once. Daylight. Look at that sponge folded up on itself. Yeah, yeah. It's stocked. Could what is we, that? Yeah, That's... could we take a look at um, mutant stock? Mutant. Under mutant. Looks like a grumpy face sponge. <laughs> I think it's the same thing that we sampled. He's just, just grew in a very odd manner. If you look at the edges of them, the edges are just the same. Oh, yeah, he is grumpy. Okay, zoom in, please. Uh-huh. Yep. Hey, you kids, off my lawn. Yeah, <laughs> get off my lawn, you kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one we sampled. It just it? shows you how you wow. get fooled by all of these different uh. ways that they grow. Yeah. Is that such a, a different morphology. Off of it? Uh, yeah. Well, oh. hydrate? Is that a hy is it hydrate? Uh, Some, something like that, yeah, on the underside. You can zoom in There's on that sticky bit. There. What are oh, you? Yeah. There's long arm spiny, which is the mm. Europtychus or Sternop. I forgot what Mary said. Cool. Squat lop strong, grumpy face. <laughs> A grumpy grandpa sponge. <laughs> <laughs> well, how would you like it if you had hydroids growing on you? I wouldn't like it at all. Yeah. No siree, not one bit. Hey, you kids got um, off my spine. I'd, I be, I'd be flinging the guacamole, that's for sure. So we've got some corals here. I wonder if this would be a place to get a niskin. Yeah. What do you guys so. think? I think dead. it's a swell place for a niskin. I'm going to pull a little bit wider on Argus. Some Thank deceased Faraday sponges. Come up on Delta that kind of nooks yeah. there, that little skeletal structure from a dead Faraday sponge. Faraday. I'm going to nestle in right here, and then we can do a niskin. Beautiful bamboo uh -oh, coral. It's coming up beyond that rock. Yep, Something's it's one of those gelatinous looking sponges. I don't know. I wouldn't mind a look at it. I Are it's currently full wide. Roger, thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. no, that's How does this that make you feel for a Niskin spot? What's that? How does this make you feel for a Niskin spot? It makes me feel warm and fuzzy and spongy. That's all we could ever <laughs> ask for. Mm -hmm. Chris is not getting sleep tonight. He's going to be huh. sponge heaven. This place actually turned out a heck of a lot better than and your Niskin? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Well, you know, that's the key. Next time you think things aren't going, tell them to like, speed Some up and then the, the habitat's going to increase. Yeah. Okay. Diversity and richness. Well, we would have gotten this far on the Regner Chansek, but it would have been later on and we would have gone over a lot of barren terrain. Yeah. And this may continue all the way up to the summit. We'll have to see. It's incredible, just the rock formation is the these, the boy, the lava must have erupted to form this. So they're all open, so dealer's choice. Okay. Again, we're collecting these uh, Niskins, which is essentially an in situ or in, in the environment uh, water sample uh, yes. to analyze for the. Do you want me to go for one or just. Follow your heart. Okay, this, so it's going to be. To look three? at okay, for the, the biological material. That was Niskin 3. Niskin 3. Got it, thank you. I knew Antelel's favorite color was blue. I knew <laughs> it. <laughs> So we analyze those water samples later and uh, use a technique called eDNA to look at uh, what biological materials in their surrounding water column, because a lot of these animals, they slough off cells and mucus and other things, and that's from that we can identify the different species that are here, and even some that we're not able to see, they're kind of cryptic 
ones that are hiding in the rocks and such. Is 103 correct? Yes, 103. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Okay, they're Sure. Okay. Let's move. Or let's stay here. Whatever you guys want. But now what? it's time to do those things. Let's move. That sponge was a bus down there. It was the same one that we collected before. It was just kind of funny orientation. Mm. It wasn't a bus. I mean, it just wasn't right. what I thought. Right. up the ridge. I mean, the other one was probably going to be funny. So uh, we can take a look at anthropomorphic approaches. <laughs> So Is that a hetero polyp? Is the little thing in the sand down there? Uh, I didn't see it. But we. What uh, Is the stock you collect today? Is it stock? I don't think so. Hey, they definitely stopped. Looks like today ones. Oh, um, could we take a look at that? It's just an unusual stock. Oh, he's going off. Yeah. We can swing position. left a little bit or are we pretty committed, right? We can swing left. Uh, this is that on you, another unusual spot. Keep going left, if you can. Oh, my goodness. Chris is going to have to find some new magic. Point it out again. Right there. It's showing up right now. Oh, neat. But it's okay. We can video this one, but this is the first time we've seen one of these, so that's good. It's, it's like a morel sponge. So the one above it, we have seen before. The pop belly, the hyalonema corinonema species. Mm -hmm. But this one, I don't think we've seen this. You've been on a cruise before. It's not on our watch. We've sampled it. Okay, go ahead and zoom, please. That's a south central county. You got it. Wait, show Andy. Getting better. <laughs> uh, you want to show him? Um... Oh, yeah, I see. Thank you. Nice. Is this an image or a sample? Image only. Cool shape. Yeah, that's that's really neat. I have more to see if you want it. A little shrimp in there? Is that what it is? I think it's okay. I, I think it's okay too. This is a stocked member of the Euclid Kelly. It's a soft sponge, except for its stock. It's funny it's not using a stock to get way up in the water, it's just under the center of this little sandwich. Oh. Yeah. Might be just the way it grew, you know. I'm sure it might be it grew attached sideways to the rock. A little right, thank you. Up again. Yeah, thank you. Okay, let's move for real this time. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Two wow, this is really incredible. You can stop anytime you want. So, you know, we talked about yesterday being a high density community. I would put it called this high diversity. Definitely. So maybe we need to create a different class of where it's mm -hmm. not particularly dense, it's denser than normal, but it's not super high. Yeah. The diversity is higher. It's got the high richness. Yeah, it's high richness. Yeah, it's really diverse and incredible. Now we're getting into some more sediment. Some beautiful pillows. Well, I'll point out some geology here. <laughs> they said channels one, two, and three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I wonder if we'll make this up. <laughs> I don't know. The Argus view is uh, we're getting to another forest of Polyapagon uh, sponges coming up. Yeah, so we have, what, three hours on bottom, and we have 700 meters. 
250 an hour. That's not, not staying still, that's for sure, but it's not hurrying either. Just too much to look at. That's a 20 meter move every, wait. Nope. 20 meter move every. Wow, math is so tricky. <laughs> every five minutes? Sure. Well, yeah. Uh, every five minutes, we gotta be calling on a 20 meter. Look, an anemone yeah. there on the rock. Yeah, book coral. For science rather than for us. <laughs> Is that another little urchin down there to the right of the big sponge? You can't really see it now. Mm -mm, I missed it. To the right of the big sponge. If you go right, it's underneath the, the coral. It's kind of tucked away. On the ground or up on no, the rock? No, it's like in the rock crevice. Oh, I think I see what you're talking about. That's not, that's not. Oh, I see, it's a sponge. It's a sponge. <laughs> Hidden sponge, secret sponge. Yeah. Secret sponge. What's little... that big thing I've seen in Argus? Go look at that. A few sponges. I like big things. There is a big thing. Might just be sand. Mm, maybe. Are you okay if I zoom on Argus? <laughs> sure. Cool. Oh, it's the fan. Series of fans. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan. Another two zero meters, three two three. Wow. Keep wandering off this way. <laughs> sure do. You want to go that way? I might want to go this way. Go that way. Maybe the next step after you can keep going this one, but the next one we can go more. Okay. That's two three one five or something. Or three zero zero even. How big is that, Trevor? Oh, well, we just put these lasers on and we can find out. It's that big. Wow. That is a large fan. That is huge. It's like a meet two meters, a meter and a half. Oh, oh sorry, I was trying to... Hey, okay, you can't, can't look down, Chris. You need to miss out on those. Oh, yeah. Too much going on. Yeah, I just saw a message I need to respond to in the chat. The Thank you. So I don't know why I get out of that sponge. What a neat community. A lot of amazing little nuggets here. Mm -hmm. Life. Yeah, wow. Look at that. You got black coral, you got the bamboo coral, you got the, the corral day or paragraphs day. The oh, um, crinoids, is that sponges. Jeez. Is that a polyopagon or is that a vase that's on the side of the wall there? I mean, this is. Because this is gorgeous. Sponge top right? Yeah. I guess it's wow. I guess probably the other one, I guess. Um, beautiful Paragorgia, Christogorgia. Pathopathies. Pathopathies. You can go down a little bit. And video zoom, please. Yeah, it's just like. Wow. That's a different structure. Yeah, yeah, that's not a polyopagon, but I guess this might be similar to what we just collected. Just an enormous version. Morphology. Does it have a stock? I mean, I we have something that's just too similar, so I'm not really... Uh, 
looking and collecting it. I just want to understand what I'm looking at here. It's one bizarre morphology. Yeah. Roger. Lovely. All day down here on the sun. Facing backwards. Wow, boy, are we fortunate to be the first human beings to see this incredible community down here. It's been pretty amazing. It is, jeez. Is this a cucumber? a cucumber? Is this a cucumber? What a time to be alive. <laughs> oh, kind of the pale one on the rock there? Mm -hmm. Dead center. Is that it? Oh, great. It's just a... Okay, zoom in, please. Oh, neat. What is that one, Chris? It is blurry. <laughs> like, uh, hang on, let me see what this guy is. So, you eat today? You live today? I'm trying to see if this is one of the. One of the you're talking about elasticity. I mean, all that's supposed to tend to be transparent like this, and of course we've collected so few of them. It's because um, most of the vessels beyond didn't quite have the suction capabilities that we now know as the way to collect them. <sighs> oh my goodness. What are you? Yeah, let's go on by. Let's... Bridge nav, another two zero meters, three zero zero. It's kind of like that one, Chris, Cinelac Cine today, is it? Uh, yeah, it could be. Close. Right, and it's hard to... some reason, I don't think um, the person who's There's interested in the genetics... Fish Where? on the right. right, moving really slowly. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, yeah, there he is. We'll start with lasers. There's a size of them. All right. Go ahead and zoom in. Keep them in frame, please. That's a uh, whole fit a day. Yeah, it's an Ophidiad. This is an odd angle looking straight down on it. Yeah, it's hard to see unless you can You can see oh, the pelvic that. filaments. It's little whiskers sticking out right under the gills. Uh, it's got a very large nostril in front of the eye, so I wonder if this is Diplopomacantha. Let's see. I love when they swim backwards. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Because they can? I don't know. Uh -huh. It's curved up, doesn't it? All right, I'm going to move. Where is it? Spectralis. Who's got the large nozzola? Bridge map, another two zero meters, three zero zero. It's gonna be spectraculous. 
might make more sense. Keep forgetting. Yeah, I want to go um, questionable spectrunculus grandis. Uh, pec, the pec fins don't look too filamentous, though. They had kind of. Oh, you can't see it filament. in that picture. Oh. See, they're they're there. They go away. In some cases. Oh no, away. I mean uh, oh, the pectoral fins. fins. They were like um, yeah. really frilly. Um, but it, see how, how big the schnozola is on that guy. Yeah. That's what I was looking at. In fact, I think. I don't quite understand the root on this one, but I think spectrunculus grandis refers to that large nostril. That it's got. The, the, it's not, not that, right? Um, well, we couldn't see the side, but if it was a fit, it's going to have that split lateral line. And oh, just couldn't see, couldn't see was, that. You know, just couldn't see what it was at. And then I think diplopomacanthus is also, uh, I think it was that. Maybe Ken is still on and he can... Uh, can advise. The large white things in the distance call me like a siren song. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> well, that would be the new name for these things, the, the Trevor Tuba. <laughs> <laughs> Um, zoom out on this sort of leggy thing right here. I don't think we really. You want to see that? Yes, please. I don't yeah. think we've imaged that. This could be a black coral. Okay, zoom in there, please. A couple of twirly stalks or something. Oh, no, that's something else. What is this? No, Did we. Uh, well, yeah, it's okay, black maybe, it's, maybe uh, Chisopathy's or something like that. It's definitely a black coral. Okay, come by, please. Let's see if uh, we've got any help from the chat on that particular Original black F coral. Two zero meters, three zero zero. It's like schizopathy, schizopath like that. Genus. Uh, I don't think that's where the trisopathies are. Trisopathies, but I forget. We've got somebody uh, who's very interested in black corals and trying to see if we can find something unusual uh, for him that we know for sure we haven't collected before in the monument, so that's mm -hmm. why I'll, I'll try to see if we can zoom on things that we think are black corals. It's going to be the, I mean, the plateau path. I guess, you know, my best guess would be trisopathies for that one. Back in uh, 2015, we had a number of black coral specialists that were paying attention to the Okeanos dives. And Daniel Wagner also, yeah. was, he was with me in a couple of cruises. Tina Molotsova and some others. And so we collected a lot of the staropathies and trisopathies and things. I mean, not lots, but we collected them. Yeah. A lot of those crinoids just park at the top of those, those little Walteri, Walterii sponges. Or was it a Walterii? I can't, can't uh, tell. But. I'm not so sure. I think it's a dead stock of something. Yeah. A sponge, but I'm, I don't think it's Walteria. 
Holy you sponge. can zoom in on them, sure. Sure. Go ahead. Let's take a look. They're good looking animals. Yeah, I think they're <laughs> pretty sure this is probably... I've got more zoom too, so let me know. Whatever you'd like. Oh, look at the little squat. Yeah, we'll over there. Squatting. Hmm. This looks like... And I'm looking at the Siri. Yeah, they almost look like prehensile Siri on that thing. Is it this size? Is Keratometridae? Well, I was going to say that, but those Siri look really long, long, which are the feet. But, I mean, yeah, see, this questionable because of the length of the Siri. That's what Oh, uh-huh. It may have been the same thing. I think you've got the same yep. species, but... This one... Yeah, I wonder if that would be a potential collection event because I don't think Wait, we've collection? actually. Wait. Well, no, no. Uh, well. Uh, yes. No. Maybe so. Uh, uh, Did uh, you want to go back? I mean, we're looking at it now, and uh, it, we're not even sure position. what family it belongs to. The crinoid. Yeah, the crinoid. I thought it was something else, but because Aaron's zoom was so good, I could see. Okay, I can probably do it if we're fast. Let's let's try to do this. Um, okay. Because, like I said, we don't even have it solid to family. And I know we haven't collected this particular one before. Pull super extra wide on Herc, please. Uh. Hmm. We go over like this. question is whether he's going to swim and... Yeah, I'll slurp him. He's pretty big, isn't he? Well, there are two. There are two, aren't there? I think there? there are two. Oh. Yeah. Well, then maybe we ought to I think, a look at the Siri again. Maybe I was fooled into thinking they were really long because there are two of them there. And we're okay, looking at their zoom. feet. Those are pretty long. Uh, it's awfully pretty. Yeah. Uh, see the picture again oh sorry i moved i moved up to a different one um this one was the one i had up before yeah. hey chris okay. i can't tell if those are foraminifera or hydroids can you tell uh maybe foraminifera steve that's what they look like to me great shot uh i think Ooh, the backdrop. i want to pass it's pass, too, it's too close to something we've collected before Okay. Is that diagnostic, Good the, shot, the though, structure anyway. on the, the fronds, Oop, that. like on the stems, that, that kind of zigzag pattern, is that is that diagnostic? It, it probably is, but um, there's the Jujurita metra, Glycometra lateralis, is, it's, um, they've got sort of more stubby type okay, of series. Okay, why, please? Bridge nav, uh, two zero meters, three four zero. Sorry? Nice rocks here. Oh, Chris, I think this might be closer. Has that kind of zigzag pattern? Yeah, that's what I'm concerned about. Uh, the, it was glyptometra, and I collected two of those in 2009. Yeah, that looks closer to to what? Yeah, that's what I was worried about. So. Yeah. Really? Hmm. 
Wow. Continues. It continues. We got a sweet two, looking rock here. Meters, three, four, zero. <laughs> sweet <laughs> looking rock. Yeah. Thanks Look for this thing in Argus. Thanks for ground yeah, it, grounding it. us, bringing us back to the firmament. Does yeah. Sweet really work with rock. I mean, it's sure. Not sour, I'll tell you what. I mean, we got all we got squishy. We got good, bad, firm. We got look at that. Crusty. Oh yeah, look at this uh, really gorgeous. Um. Could we take a look at this bamboo coral, the leggy one? Yeah, not Let's to sample. We can just take a look and go. E to start with. Okay. Okay. Sample <laughs> position. Okay, go ahead and zoom. Steve is on here too, and Steve, I think you have a better idea of what what the problem is with this group of bamboos. This might be a tough one to sample. No, that's okay. okay. I, I'm just trying to get my head around the one that was requested we could yeah go up a little bit i don't think this is it all right we're good thanks thanks very much but if you pull back and then pan to the lower right oh uh, or uh, you can't okay I there can. was something um underneath that or that 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 that, that are reddish small thing one near the ridigorgia day yeah the is that uh i'm looking at end on now yeah dead on <laughs> go dead ahead zoom center. in not the best angle, but we'll do what we can. That bubble, one, yeah. bubble gum. Bubble gum. Yeah, it's a bubble gum. Bubble okay, gum. come wide, please. Sorry. It's cherry flavored. Okay, start cinnamon again. Flavor. Cherry flavored. Ooh. Bridge nav, two Whoa, zero meters, three four zero. Purple coral. Man. Oh, yeah. Um, that is of interest. The right below the sponge. Oops, I missed them. Too late. Okay. We're gonna stop. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Bridge nav, <laughs> that's a, position. That's okay. <laughs> see right directly under the sponge. Yeah, I right see it. Right there. And most of it's try to document something that we haven't seen before. It's a couple of those little nuggets. Yeah. It may just be the uh, lighting. It's fooling us the lighting. I'm looking for something that's called Victor Gorge. It did look purple, but maybe it isn't. Okay, zoom in, please. Uh, that's a Coralie. It's... Sorry. No, sorry. Okay, Thank you. come wide, and, and we'll do another ship move. You just, yeah, <laughs> apologize. No, uh, don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> don't believe her either. <laughs> Just have a very elated back row here tonight. Uh, find my. Oh, look, All this right. barren patch. Let's put a ship in. Yeah, we All need right. some barren to catch up and let our brains like process some of this. Oh my gosh, incredible! Having fun yet? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Trevor, she doesn't have a control over my microphone, does she? Who? Uh, Aaron. No. Huh? Oof. All right. Yeah, We're I know. Get a little some break people, here. Some people <laughs> in the past have actually May suggested air? they turn my microphone off. So I have control of everything. Have, have you been Ooh. speaking this whole time? <laughs> 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 I do more Whoa, of those instant stops, so I think my microphone is going to go dead. Get that accumulation of sediment just like at the bottom of that that so lift, weird. and then yeah. all those manganese. Look at the yeah. field of manganese nodules. I bet you could get a push core out of that, Trevor. Well, I, I mean, put, we can stop the ship if you'd like. I, oh, uh, Andy. <laughs> well, I think it's going to go on for a while. Oh, oh what? The that? Yeah, it's squishy. Yeah. Well. Oh my gosh. Whatever you want. Uh, well, let's. You know, that's the. We could try it in the sediment, not in the Kay. cobbles. I Bridge don't think. position. <laughs> this was Andy, right? So you can turn his mic off. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't me. I, you two I, need to calm down back there. I don't know. You can't. <laughs> Just I'm gonna park just on the line. Maybe I think try both. I think it's push core worthy. But it's such a hard time with these push cores lately. Hasn't been going down very far. I love the drilling approach the other night with the grabbing. drilling approach. Yeah, they did manipulator <laughs> arms and spun them to see oh how yeah. far down it could. That might wreck the push core a little, or might wreck the consistency of the sediment. Oh, then then he did the push core kind of adjacent to it, just oh, to see. just to see how far down the sediment. Oh, look at that Argus view! Wow, that's otherworldly. I can give her some beans on the on the down here, so see how that plays. This will be the last try for us because uh, if it doesn't <laughs> if it doesn't work here, it's not going to work anywhere. And if we do get something, we do need to collect a Niskin, because that's what uh, 
was in our instructions from the, the for the dive. Oh, right. What was that? Hang on, sorry. You just figure it's at the bottom of this kind of and you can drop the off, so too. there's probably pretty deep, right. is my guess. I might be completely wrong. And I'll take a uh, sample whenever you're ready. Plus, I just need to cleanse my mind from that rich, unbelievably abundant field of sponges and corals we just shadow? went through. Can you zoom in on that? That is, that is a cool shadow, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Jeez. Oh, That's, That's, That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! Okay, I gotta stop. I gotta. <laughs> do you have your Do you have your Bali shadow puppets with you to start? Uh... Okay, box bump out, please. Just a bump. Yes. Oop. One more uh. bump. Uh, one more uh -huh. bump. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Have any more shoulder? Nope. The shoulder I get. Whoops, swing and a miss. Okay, ready. And you want to try in the sedimented area first before we do nodules? Yeah, let's try that. I can't hear you. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Yep. That sediment. Because you know where that mound of sediment is that looks like it's fallen down slope right mm -hmm. in front of the sub if you look in the Argus view? Yeah, that's what I was thinking that's, too. That seems like it might be the deepest sed sediment deposit here. Yeah, just to your left. Is that better? Yeah, okay, I can hear sorry. you. Okay, sorry. When you say the mound, do you mean you want me to take off and re-land? I just try like... No, I just try as far I over there as you can. Yeah. I just think it could be thicker there. That's all. All right, got my fingers crossed. Unfortunately, that's as far as I get. Okay, okay. let's try it. Without re-landing, but we'll try it and go for Yeah. It. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Patience. yeah, yeah, it's going. Key with this is slow and steady pressure. And Maybe not hitting the rocky substrate. It's the other key. But will it stay in? Was that enough? No, he's still going. Oh, he is. Okay. A little bit. Hmm. No, I don't think I'll go in anymore. Um, so I'll try this and see what happens. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to re-grab this because I'm not going to be able to make it around right now. Can I get bubble on the starboard side of the vehicle, please? Oh yeah, it was there. Sorry, Roger. Yeah, you're where it was. Yeah, it was actually perfect. I oh, just didn't sorry. realize. I I did not realize. Okay, here's hoping. All right, stand, stand. What? Uh, oh, it's stuck. <laughs> Who got rid of the hockey pucks? This is absurd. <laughs> this is why I like hockey pucks. There we go. Nice. All right. Oh, nice. Stayed in. I'm going 
I go? Nice, nice. At least for now. Quick as I can. I think you got it, Trevor. Don't you Good jinx job. it now. Don't you jinx it. It's definitely actively deploying, so. Fan, this is the uh, lounge. Go ahead. Yeah, hi, Beth. Hi. Could you it's take a, a um, still with the um, Argus cam, please? Yes, can do. For the uh, ripples? Just to get a context of the sample. Just going to try to get that in the query nice. first. Woohoo! It's not in yet. Don't no. you jinx it. All right. Now it's in. Nice job, hey. Trevor. Beautiful. Too bad I lit it on fire. <laughs> yeah. All right, that oh. was red. Red. Thank you. So in case we get more. Excuse me, Beth. So what what was it that you okay, wanted to do with the Argus view? Um, we bumped that still, in. Still still shot from the Argus Sick. view to yeah, the okay. environmental kind of picture yep. of the location. Okay. And then we also we need, need to a, do a, a disc diskin. Yeah. Oh, disc I love that Argus okay. view. Argus view is just incredible. That's awesome. It is. Such a unique. It's definitely a fall from it. <laughs> Sediment fall. Okay. Uh, you wanted to do a Niskin here? Did I hear that? Yes, that's correct. Okay. And uh, still, we got already got the stills from the Argus view. We got that captured. What sample are we on? Um, that was sample 104. 104. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> you see that? that silly. There we go. There it is. Got it. Great. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. I think that made it one of the few places that we could do this because there's a pile that might yep. be coming down slope and it built up a bit right yep, there. Yep, that's little, exactly what I was thinking when I saw it. I was like, that wow, it accumulated. Oh, it's a good spot, Andy. Yeah. Anything else or are we moving on now? I think we are going to keep our mouths shut and we can move on for a bit. Move on, mouths shut. I'm going to go full on wide on Argus. Thank you. Yep. Sure, thanks. Let's make tracks if we want to ever make it to the uh, summit. We got an hour and 40 minutes, and how far? Uh, do we want to summit by the time we're done? I thought that was the next watch. Next watch has one hour. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh. Two, hour, two hours, sorry, two hours. Yeah. You think that's possible? <laughs> so we got two hours and 40 minutes. I think anything's possible, almost. Uh, yeah. 340. Bridge nav, 20 meters, 340. Mm. Wow. So yeah, we would like to make the summit. So if it's getting a little sketch, maybe we ought to have a little speed speed period here. Yeah. So you know what's interesting about this is that uh, you don't have the kind of equidistant um, nodule formation like we saw in the other areas where it's almost uniform. This looks uh, yeah, they're kind of spaced out. Yeah. Definitely like there was. The it's sedimenting from above and kind of avalanching down into this this area. I think sediments come down below and sort of buried some of them. And there yeah. might be some underneath the sediment. Maybe. That's a good good point, Andy. Or they just keep or just sediments here too much and they're they're not able to form in Three, this, four zeros in over this area. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll keep going this way. Ooh, what is that? Floating. Oh, that's right bad alley here. Black coral. Yeah. This is fish habitat oh, we're in, right, Chris? Three four zero? 
Yeah, three, four, zero. Argus is lined up, Trevor. Cool. Bridge and I have another two zero meter step, three, four, zero. Can we go wider on Herc view or, or are we at maximum? We can go wider on Herc view. Just to get a little more zoom perspective. Out, That's all you get. Okay. You get the right. vignetting. Yeah, change. yeah. Nah. Okay. I didn't. You can zoom past the I wasn't sure how wide we were. I can also, like, do this. Uh, is that the uh, barrel correction or something? Well, we're going to go up slope very soon. We're yeah. right at the base of the final push up to the top of the summit. All right, I actually zipped ahead too fast this time for once. <laughs> wow. I'll go have a look at some stuff. I didn't get distracted. <laughs> Dirt, yeah, not this is very this wall. Look at the Earth look at the view on. Uh, nothing. Yep. What's that? Earth just looks lost up that there. That thing kind of wraps it. around. <laughs> yeah. Where, Where am I going? Where did go? <laughs> look over here. Oh, we're waiting. It's going to plateau out pretty soon. How about this? Is that is that dead? Is it just a dead stock? Yeah, I guess it is. Never mind. Trying to find you something to look at. <laughs> it's something. Yeah, and it sure might, is something. Uh, might be something here too. Oh, it's just a dead sponge dead base. Detritus. Yeah, detritus. Sorry. Oh, pulling Argus. That's just not not what I want to do. Mm -hmm. I'm just pulling Argus. Okay. Do it, you will. Ready, set to minty. Yeah, this is a not a very exciting spot. No. I want to check the other side of this. Some bamboo Navy corals valley. hanging out. Go check this way. Okay, oh. now we're getting into some harder, steeper terrain to the to the left to port. Well, that's the that's the wrong way. Oh, it is. Oh, I'm just I'm waiting for the ship, so I'm just going any which way. I got you. Just looking around. Bridge nav, another two zero meters, three four zero. Do you want me to follow you or maintain heading? No, I'm coming back. Okay. I mean, you will. Yeah. I was just giving her all the way to see what happens. Gotcha. Wow, look at all that, that sediment. There you are. Is that really possible? Or are we slightly off on the high pack display because it has us on a pretty steep terrain, but it doesn't. Yeah. There's been a slight shift, I think. Yeah, for sure, there's definitely a shift. But um, I think the big picture is that the summit's up there somewhere, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna keep chugging to. Though I don't, I'd rather go other places. So if you want to change anything, let me know. Um, no, this is fine. We c yeah, we should get up there. Maybe we're kind of down on the flats and. It just shifted. I think the it's a big shift. contours mm -hmm. are shifted slightly to the flat. south or something. He's also now going kind of along contour. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just I'm just looking around whatever yeah, I yeah. can. Yeah, yeah. I'm just letting them know. These sponges, by the way, are Semperella. They're another member of the Farinum added and they specialize in okay. sediment. Oh, interesting. You can How get do them they on attach? Rocks, but uh, what, what's that? How do they attach? They've got the lophophytus, but this time they actually grapple into the sediment. <coughs> oh, interesting. Like roots. Yeah, I was talking to Jessica about this, and oh, you did. Yeah, oh, awesome. Yeah, these have uh, these have got sort of cup-like sort of anchor filaments in there that uh, I guess are more suited for sediment, mm. whereas the rock cleaners okay, have more hooks. Yeah, Raj. How deep are they in the sediment? Uh, not not too too deep, but a few inches at least, I would think. So is this sediment kind of compact and sticky? I, gu I guess so. I I don't know. They look pretty fine. Pretty. Look at all the stuff in the water column just zinging by. Bridge nav, another two zero meters, three four zero. 